Are any questions before we proceed? I have one question, Dr. Frankenstein. That's Frankenstein. Hey guys, today on What to Watch Before You Die, it's the comedic masterpiece, Young Frankenstein. Shot entirely in black and white, Young Frankenstein is as much a hilarious spoof to Mary Shelley's gothic tale as it is an adoring homage to the original greats like Frankenstein, The Bride of Frankenstein, and The Son of Frankenstein. Brooks co-wrote the script with lead actor Gene Wilder. You know, Willy Wonka. Of course. And the dialogue's irresistibly silly wit is furthered by outstanding physical comedy. This is my grandfather's private library. I feel it. Look. The whole thing is just so much fun. It's one of those movies that'll leave you in a state of childlike giddiness, and that's honestly no surprise coming from the hands of Brooks. I mean, he e got it winning Emmys, Grammys, Oscars, and Tonys, an accomplishment that only 12 people have ever achieved. So we're talking about a guy who fully understands the art of visual storytelling from every angle. Seem unusually upset by this discussion. Not in the least. I find it extremely amusing, that's all. It was actually Gene Wilder who came up with the idea for the movie. Apparently, while filming Blazing Saddles, Wilder sat in his full-on cowboy gear on set scribbling down an idea about Frankenstein's great-grandson who wants nothing to do with his family legacy. But what about your grandfather's work, sir? My grandfather's work was doo-doo! I am not interested in death! The only thing that concerns me is the preservation of life! A running gag throughout the film is Frederick's pronunciation corrections to anyone who addresses him as Frankenstein. He lets them know it's Frankenstein, trying to distance himself from any further questioning. Do you also say Frodrick? No. Frederick. Well, why isn't it Frodrick Frankenstein? It isn't. It's Frederick Frankenstein. I see. You must be Igor. No, it's pronounced Igor. Then, as he's reintroduced to his family ties, Frederick becomes more and more like his great-grandfather and ends up creating a monster of his own. Speaking of great-grandfathers, that's mine. Right there, the train conductor. What? All aboard! Oh, there's that horrid man again. Anyway, Peter Boyle, AKA Everybody Loves Raymond's Dad, creates a monster that's scary, pathetic, and charming all at once. Rounding out the comedic cast is Cloris Leachman as Frau Bluch. <laughs> the creepy housekeeper who freaks out horses just by the mention of her name. After you, Frau Blucher. <laughs> then there's Marty Feldman's Goonie Igor. Perhaps I could help you with that hump. What hump? Whose ever moving hunchback is totally nodded to in Robin Hood with the moving mole. Marty was originally a screenwriter in the UK and was apparently pushed into the role. I'll never forget my old dad, when these things would happen to him, the things he'd say to me. What did he say? What the hell are you doing in the bathroom day and night? Why don't you get out of there and give someone else a chance? Madeline Kahn plays Frederick's snooty fiance, and Terry Garr is the perfectly blonde assistant. And yeah, that's Gene Hackman as the poor blind monk. The talented cast of comedians falls into place beautifully and takes the audience on a joy-filled ride through styles from vaudeville to the Marx Brothers to Monty Python. Would you mind telling me whose brain I did put in? Abby someone. Abby someone. Abby who? Abby normal. Brooks himself has been quoted as saying at one point there was too much comedy in the film, cutting it down to only the absolute funniest moments and pairing laughs against cinematographer Gerald Hirschfeld's dreary shots, full of gravitas akin to that of Citizen Kane, and composer John Morris's moody arrangements, Young Frankenstein goes way beyond parody. The result is a fully well-rounded film. According to Brooks, Young Frankenstein is his best writer-director film ever. Not the funniest. Apparently he thinks Blazing Saddles is the funniest. But what do you guys think? What's your favorite Brooks play? If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? 
subscribe to Cinefix for more What to Watch Before You Die every Thursday. Follow me on Insta at MacWall and hashtag what to watch Bud to suggest more movies. Alive! It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> That's the weirdest noise I've ever made in my whole life.